This is an overdrive pedal. This is also an overdrive pedal. So if both of these are overdrives, why do I have two? Before we understand the benefits to having two overdrives, we need to know what an overdrive pedal is and what it actually does to your signal. Simply put, these kind of pedals add gain to your signal. Think of it as turning up the gain knob on your amp. The higher the gain, the more natural and vigorous grittiness the amp will sound, as Boss would put it. But rather than having that setting always active, as it would be should you use the settings on the amp itself, it is now determined by the press of a button and in a convenient location down by your feet so that it can be activated with a step. There are many different kinds of overdrives and it can be a bit overwhelming when trying to find the best one for you. The best selling drive pedal is the Ibanez Tube Screamer. This pedal has been used by Stevie Ray Vaughan, John Mayer, and many other high profile guitar players. The style of overdrive that this pedal creates has been emulated by many other manufacturers. The JHS Bonsai, Joyo Vintage, and Behringer Vintage Tube are a few notable ones. Notice how they are all green. But the Tube Screamer is not the end all be all of overdrive. There are plenty of other choices when entering the world of drive, such as the Boss BD2, Wampler Tumnus, or my drives of choice, the JHS Morning Glory and the Full Tone OCD. The Morning Glory is JHS's most popular overdrive, and rightly so. This pedal provides a clean boost to my signal while maintaining the integrity of my tone. The phrase transparent overdrive gets tossed around when discussing this pedal, and I believe that to be pretty accurate. The amount of drive that I choose to get out of this pedal is relatively low, but we will talk about why that is here in a moment. The Full Tone OCD, on the other hand, is sort of like the Morning Glory's crazy uncle, and I like that about it. This high gain pedal gives me all the drive that I may ever need, and its tone knob and high peak slash low peak switch allows me to dial in the perfect sound for what I am looking for. Please note that Full Tone is no longer in business, so if you want to buy an OCD, you will have to get it used. So what am I looking for? And do I really need two overdrives? Well, no. I don't need two overdrives, but do I want two overdrives? Yes. I have played electric guitar primarily at my local churches ever since I learned how to play. The pedals that I have selected to be on my pedal board come from decisions that I have made with popular worship bands and guitarists in mind. Modern worship songs, just like any other genre of music, have a beginning, middle, and end. These songs also tend to have soft sections, mild moments, buildy bits, and declarative durations, or big parts. I struggled with the alliteration there on that last one. No matter the order of these parts, a guitarist may be required to use different drive settings throughout a song. No one wants to hear Guns N' Roses at the start of What a Beautiful Name. Or, or do we? The point is, I use two overdrives to craft my tone in a way that matches each part of a song. If I need to play some energetic chords, I can turn on my Morning Glory. If I need to play some grungy octaves, I can turn on my OCD. If I need to hammer out a loud lead line, I can use both. Let's listen to a quick demo. But going back to what I said earlier, I don't need two overdrives. For a long time, I only had the OCD. This was one of the first pedals that I ever got, and I used it exclusively through high school and partially through college. It was a fun challenge to dial in both enough grunge to where I could use it on heavy lead parts, but also not too much so that the standard chords didn't sound too dirty. Owning a second overdrive is a luxury that I didn't have for a long time, and I want to encourage any beginner guitarist to not feel like they have to have more gear to sound good. 
A good guitarist uses gear. A great guitarist relies more on his or her playing and awareness of a song to capture a special moment. Hopefully this video gave some insight into why I use two overdrives and helps you decide what route you want to go. Just remember, some of the best journeys involve a drive. Please leave a comment if you have any questions and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and have a good one.